are. It's Friday, November 20th. It's our last field of beans. Uh, about 98 acres. We're, uh, we're both cutting in here. It shouldn't take very long. I'll be have this knocked out hopefully early afternoon and get back on the corn. Uh, last year we finished up the day after Christmas on beans, so it'll be pretty nice to uh, be done in November on the beans for once. There's the last strip of beans. Uh, Dad'll be following up, come from the other side. So we just got a not very much left. A couple passes across the field. I'll be done here 15 20 minutes have the beans for 2020 be wrapped up okay so here it is this is the last pass at about 2300 feet to go clearly we weren't uh, running in the same line the, the sharing's not working quite right uh, between the two machines are sharing the lines so I start out this in the field I got about 10 feet I get to the end of the field I'll have a full head here it is for real this time, the last uh, last few rows left. Just emptied the other combine out. Done with that one for the year. All right, just a, a little bit further. Down to one row. All right, that's a wrap. Last of the beans coming out of the auger. Give the combine a little shake, try to get everything, the beans all shook out. Oh boy, get to do some real field work today. Disconnect the old sunflower patch. Big time in it today. Running over some standing stuff. It's really chewing it up nice. Wow, this is a lot of fun. About got this patch wrapped up. Just gotta get up here, and then there's a patch right there. There's a little bit across the uh, ditch here. And then I can go back home. Actually, first I gotta go to Rob mom's house and just the garden. She's working pretty hard today. This is a heck of a lot of disc for this tractor. But we managed. We've been spinning the tires in a few places. It's a little bit chunky, but uh, it's working down okay. Like right, once you get into this kind of dirt, it's all right. Now I think I need more weight on the front of the tractor. It's just sometimes you don't turn when you need to turn. cylinder blocks up and I have a helper here. Hey puppy. Good girl. Oh boy. Equal opportunity. Today the 730 diesel with the pony motor is going to disappear. It's going to a new home in Colorado and the poor guy he drove. I, I would hate to know how long this is going to take him to get back with. I I feel bad for him driving that far but he he's paying ca cash money. Here he comes, coming down the lane. Here I was thinking I'd seen the last of that tractor. Poor guy left his wallet here in the truck because uh, he forgot to get, uh, what are they called? Uh, the ratchet straps. So we went to town and he left his wallet in here. Oops. See, I hope that this is the last time that I ever see that tractor. Now we gotta go back home. We are in Shelbina. That fella, if you're from uh, Northeast Missouri, you know where Bevere is, and that's where he made it to when he realized he did not have his wallet.
trying to shell some more corn here in the river bottom and uh, it started raining and it's rained enough that uh, the head's not start, starting to not feed like it should and it's time to call it a night which is too bad because there's only 20 acres left in this field and it's six o'clock but sometimes you just gotta call it quits before it gets too bad What's broken now? Pause the video when you see it. Yep, flat tire. My suspicions were confirmed that this is in fact a, a valve stem leak. Because if you can push out on or push in on the tire, you can feel air coming out of the valve stem. So I'm gonna guess that the tube and the valve stem at least are probably trash. So we're gonna fix this tomorrow and stick her back on and hope she works. Peep the dog. Woof. Woof. May. Come here, puppy. There, we got her to do something. Good girl. Who's your cute puppy dog? Now, I know this video has kind of been all over the place, but that's the best I can do for right now. This coming week, we're gonna have a lot of uh, uh, corn harvest action, so be watching for that video. This is the end of the video. Say hi, puppy. You're a good dog. But uh, this is the end of the video, so if you're liking what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe. We're at like 983 as of like 730 on a Sunday night. So let's get that to a thousand. I mean, like only half of my viewers are actually subscribed, which I mean, you know, that's whatever. And if you didn't like the last video that had the music laid over the uh, harvest action, I don't care. Yeah, that's it for this one, and we will catch you all on the next one. Puppy dog. Woof. Woof. Bro, you just woofed in English. Bark. <laughs>